What's going on guys, it's Rascal here, and today we are going to be learning about how to generate a normal map. If you already have black and white height maps ready and you just need to generate the normal map, go ahead, skip to right here. Otherwise, if you need to know how to make a height map, go ahead and stick around. So first step for generating a height map is you need your color map. So I'm just going to grab a random brick texture here off the internet and we will use this one. So right here I have my brick image and this would represent my diffuse or color map. And what I need to do is basically make a black and white version of this image that is going to be called a height map. So what a height map needs is basically these parts of the brick that are further out are going to need to be lighter and the parts of the brick that are uh, further in, like in between the bricks here, is going to be darker. So white means it's going to be pushed out more, black means it's going to be pulled in more. So usually a good first step is to just uh, go ahead and whatever graphics software you're using, you should be able to desaturate your image. Now right here is honestly an acceptable height map, but if you need to make any adjustments, you can just go in uh, with a like levels adjustment. So on Photoshop, that's control L, and then you can use these and crunch together the levels. Um, so now we're making like a more Jurassic change from the foreground to the background. And if your brick texture looks something more like this, this is actually going to be inverted uh, from what you need because the darker values are going to look like they're pushed in after we generate the normal map. So go ahead and uh, control I on Photoshop to invert that. And once you have a black and white image and you think it is good to go for a normal map, all you need to do is export. And now go ahead and go down into the description and click on a link to PhotoP. Now, PhotoP is completely free, and it is basically an online version of Photoshop, uh, but it actually lets us generate height maps. So go ahead and open up your file in PhotoP, so brick height map, and then right here, all we have to do is go to filter, 3D, normal map, and look at that. Um, we have some different options here. So there's scale, which is like how intense the normal map is. Uh, so you can change that here. There's blur, which you can play with, which can kind of make things less uh, intense, I guess, and make things ease in a bit more. I'm gonna leave that off. And then you can mess with these high, medium, and low settings to get the normal map that you want. So once you're done with this, you can literally just go file, save, and then it will save the file that you saved into your computer as that normal map. So right here, I can open that up, and right here is my normal map. Go ahead, subscribe if you want more game development, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!